Welcome back to another episode of Tutorially Awesome with the AV Archivist. Today we'll be discussing how to embed completed hyperspin cinematic videos so as to make your own killer themes. The beauty of hyperspin cinematic is that you can make a theme as simple or as complex as you'd like while taking advantage of full HD resolution support. There are no limits to what you can create, and you're bound only by your own imagination. Here we have a theme for Secret of Mana I've just finished in Sony Vegas Pro. I'll now go through the steps we take to get this working in hyperspin. First, we need to render our video to a 1080p MP4, making sure quality settings are as high as practical. This can take several hours, depending on the power of your PC and the complexity of the theme you've created. We're currently exploiting Flash Pro's InBad option to maximize cinematic portability and to mimic the hyperspin interactions of normal themes. To do this, we first need to convert our MP4 to an FLV without sacrificing quality. To that end, we're going to use Adobe Media Encoder to do the conversion. Open Adobe Media Encoder and add your theme's MP4. Next, scroll down the presets window and drag the bottom option with the highest bitrate over onto it. Right click it and go to export settings, making sure to maximize the quality of your output, like so. Hit OK and press Enter to start the re-encode. Once that's finished, open Adobe Flash Pro and create a new ActionScript 3.0 file, 1024 pixels wide by 768 high, and make sure frame rate matches that at which you rendered your video or your playback speed will be incorrect. Then go File, Import, Video, choose Embed FLV, and browse to your re-encoded FLV video. Name the instance FLV Control, and once again set dimensions to 1024 by 768. Right click the first frame in the timeline at the bottom and select Actions. Type this into the command box that appears to have Flash Pro apply smoothing. Finally, press Ctrl Shift F12 to open your publish settings and max out the quality for the audio settings like so. All that's left to do is to export as background.swf. Copy your newly embedded theme into the template I provided in the description and update info.txt with the creator's name and date of creation, and then create a zip file like you would for any other hyperspin theme. The next step is to create a dummy video to make sure your theme triggers hyperspin's attract mode correctly. Open your video editor and start a new project. The dimensions and settings don't matter. Drag in the dummy ping I provided in the description, or make your own by simply saving a blank canvas in Photoshop. Next, drag in the MP4 you rendered earlier. Now extend the duration of the dummy ping to match the length of the theme video, shaving a tiny bit off the end to ensure hyperspin will trigger a track mode before the theme starts to repeat itself. Delete the MP4 track and render the empty ping dummy video as a 640x480 MP4 with default render settings, naming it to match the game or system your theme is for. All you need to do now is to move the theme and video into the appropriate folders and your theme will work exactly like a normal hyperspin theme with all the amazing benefits of hyperspin cinematic. The theme will enter a track mode when it ends, it will pause on the frame it's on when you navigate away, and you can place artwork and video elements on top of it as though it were a normal background. I sincerely hope you found this tutorially awesome episode of AV Archivist to be useful and that it will empower you to make your own personal theme creations come to life. In future tutorials, I'll cover some more advanced video editing techniques to help you get the most out of your effort, but in the meantime, the best thing you can do is experiment with your favorite video editor until you can make what's in your imagination appear on the screen. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Have an awesome day!